Let us now consider scientific notation. This is a method for placing very large numbers or very, very small numbers in a range that is much more manageable. For example, if we take the numbers such as shown on the screen, 602 million quadrillion, and we wanted to place that in a manageable form, we could place that in what is known as scientific notation. How we would do that is we would move the decimal place from the end of the number and we would place it directly after the first non-zero digit. And so this number would just go to 6.02. We've moved the decimal point from here to here. Now we moved it 23 places. We moved it 23 orders of magnitude. Now the way this is normally taught is if you move to the left, then the power term has to mark how many places you move that. So this number becomes 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. By the way, this number is called Avogadro's number. It is a very, very important number in chemistry. But this form, the normal number, the long form, if you will, is much, much too cumbersome to deal with. This is referred to as scientific notation. Scientific notation has the general form A times 10 to the N, where A denotes what is called the coefficient. That is the portion of the number in front of the multiplication sign. And this 10 to the N represents a 10 raised to some power. In our example, it was 10 raised to the 23rd power. And this term is oftentimes called the power term or the exponential term. Or in slang, just the 10 to the N term. There is another way that you can rationalize this without memorizing rules. And it's using what I call the larger-smaller approach. And it goes something like this. You just have to remember that any number times 1 is itself. So I could multiply the original number times 1 and not change its value. But you'd also have to know one other piece of math, and that is 10 to the 0 power is also equal to 1. So I can take any normal number and multiply by 10 to the 0, and I have not changed the value. The first thing I'm going to do in this case is move the decimal point as I did before after the first digit. And I'm going to wind up with 6.02. Now as you can see, I made the coefficient term smaller. I went from 602 million quadrillion down to just the number 6.2. I made it smaller. So if I make the coefficient smaller, I must make to the 10 to the n term larger. If you make one smaller to get the same number, you must make the other one larger by how much? 23. So I didn't need to remember left is plus, Move the decimal right, it's minus. I just knew I made this piece smaller, so I must make that piece larger. Let me show you in principle why this works. Let's say we have the number 2 times 4. So this is analogous to the coefficient, and this on the right side of the multiplication is analogous to the power term. If I divide the first part by 2, I will get the same exact number if I do the opposite for this. Since I divided this side by 2, I have to multiply this side by 2. And guess what? I get exactly the same number. This is why the larger smaller works. Anytime you're multiplying two numbers, whatever you do to one, if you proportionally change the other in the opposite direction, you'll get the same number. And you can see that's what we did here. We changed the coefficient. We made that smaller by 23 orders of magnitude. And so we had to make the power term larger 
by 23 orders of magnitude. Let's do one more and finish up. This time, let's look what happens when you have a number that's much smaller than 1. And let's use the larger, smaller approach to solve this. The question is, convert this number into scientific notation. I know that any normal number can be multiplied by 10 to the 0 power. I normally do that in my head. The rule requires that I move the decimal point after the first non-zero digit, 6.02, and I moved it three places times 10 to the what? Hmm, should it be positive 3 or negative 3? Well, let's see. I made this number much larger. You would agree that 0.006 is a much smaller number than 6.02. So if I made this, if I made the coefficient, the front piece, larger by three orders of magnitude, I have to make the other piece smaller by three orders of magnitude. And there we've converted this number to scientific notation without having to memorize any rules. Let's now go the opposite direction. Let's say you started out with a number 6.02 times 10 to the minus 3 and you were to convert that to a normal number. Larger, smaller approach makes that very easy. You know for a normal number we have to take this to 10 to the 0 so we could drop it. I just made this piece larger. 0 is 3 orders of magnitude larger than minus 3. So if the power term went larger, the coefficient has to go smaller by 3 orders of magnitude. So let's do that. 1, 2, 3. There is where my decimal point is going to be. So I'm going to need two zeros in front of that. 0 0.00602. And because you never start a number with a decimal point, I'm going to add a zero in front of that. And you can see that no matter which way you go, this technique will work. Mm -hmm.